All right, so let's make the eyes, the laughing eyes. Same needle, number four. You need a slip knot. And you're gonna chain 17. So you're going to single crochet back up seven, starting in the first chain you can get to, which is the second one from the hook. So you're going to skip two and you're going to go into the next one and you're going to single crochet seven. Oh, and you're going to fasten off, it's as easy as that. I'm going to leave a tail, pretty long tail for sewing, like you're not. There we go, we got one eyeball done, let's do a second one. God, I got black yarn all over the place. So make a slip knot. You're gonna chain 17. And in the second chain from the hook, you're going to single crochet seven. You're going to skip two. Gonna single crochet seven. And fasten off with a long piece. And there is our second eyeball. Well, there's our two eyeballs. So, all that's left are eyebrows, and these are very, 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 very quick, just like the eyes, so you're going to make a slip knot. You're 
you're going to chain eight. Then you're going to single crochet seven. Then you're going to fasten off and make your other one. It is just as easy peasy as that. There. Eyebrows are nice and short. So make your other one and then come back here and we'll put it all together. All right, so let's sew some faces on. So get your one piece. So we're gonna start with the mouth and work our way up. You can use, you can use my reference <laughs> if you want. So we're gonna start with the mouth and work our way up. Oh, I almost lost an eyebrow. So I'm just gonna get some black yarn. So I wanna tie this in, in a knot at the back just for added security. Sorry, I gotta move this guy out of my way. So I lined him up with this, uh, just after the first row. So I think I'll do the same thing. So the first row and I'm just gonna put that guy right down on that line just as a reference and I'm going to try to center it as best as I can so I'm just going to come up and you want to come up into the stitches you don't want that to fold over so pull through what you can but leave a tail at the back for tying like enough that you would need to tie a knot and then we're going to sew around come back down through here and then tie the knot at the back just for added security so um, this doesn't have to be too close together but just make sure that you're going up and down it's probably not easy to see but up and down through the stitches just so that you don't get any rolling at the ends and you can shape this so if yours is a funny shape or you don't like something about it or something you can shape it just making sure it's gonna stay put and go right down as close to that edge as I can And I don't want it rolling over here, so I'm going to come up right through that stitch. Just so it doesn't roll. You can still move it around as you go. Right on the edge of that stitch just so it doesn't roll. So my stitches are very long, except for on the corners here, obviously. I wanna I wanna keep this down. I don't want it to roll, so a bit shorter ones on the corners, but the stitches are fairly long. You don't have to be short little stitches. You're not you're not having a dress or anything, but 
going to go up and come back down near my other my other one and then we're just going to tie a knot just for added security doesn't have to be tight don't have to pull tight just tie a couple of knots in there and then you can just cut that bad boy off like that so there's the mouth done so we'll do our eyeballs so we did leave some yarn on our eyeballs So this one's going to be where we're going to tie our knot to, so I'm just going to figure out where I want my eyes. So use your rows as a reference point, so I'm going to put that corner on the same row line. And then that's going to come down to the point, to the middle circle, I think. So I'm just going to stick that in to anchor it. Anchor that part in place anyway, and then I'm going to thread this part. I'm going to sew with this part. And hopefully I have enough that I'm going to come back around here to tie my knot. So You can kind of shape this as you go as well. So I'm going to go right down in the corner that I'm starting at. Just to secure that. I'm not going to pull tight though because I don't want this to get out of shape. I really want to keep this shape. So I'm not going to pull tight at all. I'm just going to... loosely and it doesn't have to be tight but make sure you get right into this corner go right back into that corner So again, I'm not pulling tight. Yeah, let's see, I don't like where that corner is, so I'm just gonna move it, move this over. And I'm gonna secure it right on the end. So that shouldn't go anywhere. And I'm, again, I'm not pulling tight. I don't want to misshape it. I'm just going to go back up, make sure you nail that top corner. And back down again. Make sure you kind of keep in the right shape. Which would be... Um, So, flip her around, tie your knot, I didn't pull tight when I tied that because I need to keep that shape. So we're going to do the same thing with this guy, try to get him even, so my one end is going to be there, my other end is going to be over here on the line of the row. So we're going to use this short little guy to anchor it. And that's what we'll use. Sorry, just bumped you. So I want it anchored. 
right by that line. And then we'll take this guy. We'll go right down through that hole. Because we definitely want the corner. Not sure what's going on with that stitch. Oh, I cannot. There we go. I had a loose stitch and I'm not sure. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? back up. So I've got a loose stitch right here and I'm not sure why I have this here. But I just want to take that, fold it over and get rid of it because that's going to drive me nuts. I'm not, oh my good lord. I just tried to kind of shape in that. I don't know why I had a loose stitch, but it happens. So I just wanted to try to get that. So find your shape. You can pin it or you can just hold it. Like I'm just trying to hold it. Just make sure you come up in those stitches. Make sure you get the top corners of your eyeballs, your closed eyeballs, just to keep the shape. Make sure you come up on the end. Don't pull. Try not to pull tight. Chevron shape. That's what I was trying to think of. Chevron. It's like a chevron shape. So if you pull tight, you may kind of lose that chevron shape. Trying to find the tip, tippy top of that eyeball. I guess it's not an eyeball. I keep saying eyeball. It's not an eyeball. They're closed eyes. All right. My last stitch. Tie a knot. Don't pull tight. Tie double knot. Snip her off and. Um, I think I got one of my eyes crooked. I don't like that. So, you know what we do when we don't like it? We undo it. I'm going to take it all back out. Because I did not get this eye where I wanted it. So, but now you get to learn how to fix something. So instead of just pulling, I could probably just pull this all out, but I don't want to wreck my, my other part, so I'm just going to cut it out. I'm not wrecking my eyebrow at all, but I will have to get a new piece of yarn. So... Get all that crap out of there. Get that crap out of there. All right, let's try this again. Now we can pull all this out of here. Oh yeah, I got that knot there. I 
Oh, I made this knot in here. That's fine. We can just snip that off. Pull my slip knot closed. I'm just going to tuck him underneath there. So it'll clean up fine. And you know what? If it doesn't, it took two seconds to make this eyebrow or this eyeball. So we'll pull all the stragglers out or cut them off. That pulled on a piece of thread. And let's try this again and try to get it to where it's supposed to be. So just get yourself a piece of yarn. So let's try this again. We can just tuck that under. I kind of want it. Like that. What's the problem? I don't know how I screwed it up. So bad. I want it like that. That looks even, right? Maybe down a little bit. Maybe like that. I know it looks funny. Like that? That looks better. Alright. So I'm going to put my but I'm not gonna pull all the way through. I'm gonna leave some to tie. And try to hold this into a better position. Without pulling on the wrong piece. Yeah, I don't want to pull tight. How do you screw an eyeball up, you say? I just want to make sure before I Does that look right where I get that corner done oh crap I did it backwards again just when I think I got it in the right spot it's probably how it moved the first time I keep forgetting that I gotta come up from behind all right I'm gonna try not to move it and I'm going to come up into that arch. I'm going to do bigger, bigger pieces. scared it's going to move on me. You know. There is no science behind this. You just have to not be in such a hurry, I guess. Not that I'm in a hurry, but I don't know. I actually don't even know how I got that. So far off. Well, that looks a little better. That looks freaky. Freaky deaky. I gotta cut a little bit of this. I took too much, so. Tie my knot. I should have checked it before I tied my knot last time. So, don't be like Tara. And check your. Check your stuff before you tie a knot, for gosh sakes. Alright, let's get our tears. 
So one of my tiers has um, this and one of my tiers doesn't because I made this ahead. I made this last night. I made all all my tiers. I got other tiers. I make <laughs> I make bulk. So figure out where you want your tiers. Um, in the emoji picture itself, um, which I'll show you in here, um, they come right off the corner of the eyes. So we'll take the one that we just made with the string and we'll just stick it somewhere near the corner of the eye and we'll just put it in place like this and then you're going to want to come up and do it down through again because we're just fixing the top so when you come up again come up just through the yellow right there or anywhere and now we're gonna go across just like that sorry on camera would be more helpful so we're just gonna go across like this and we're going to make sure our needle's up higher. And we're going to pull tight to fix that onto there. And then we're going to go back down through the yellow. So now that that's fixed in place, I can just make a knot. Oh my good lord. Don't make videos when you have the flu, especially if you get dumb. So we're just going to make a knot like this here. Oh, that came undone again. And then you're just going to tuck this away, preferably at the back underneath so that you don't see it through the yellow. So try to stick to the rule of three, three different directions. If it tries to unravel, it has to go in three different directions to do so. So if you've ever heard of the rule of three, that's what it is. So I need a piece of blue yarn. That's probably too long. So if you're putting it on this way, so if you've made your tears ahead, if you're making this again for yourself, and you've made your tears ahead, this is the best way to do it because you can just tie the knot at the back. So when you come up through, when you come up through into it, you're just going to do the exact same thing is just leave a hunk hanging at the back so you can tie a knot so it's actually a lot easier to do it this way than the other way but I've given you two different options so we're gonna go up oh I just poked my finger we're gonna go up again and we're gonna go back down just through the here so go through the tier this way make sure I'm on camera so go through it that way and now back down through the yellow trying to keep it as close to the tier as you can so back down Pull tight to fasten. Now, you can do that a second time. I think one time is good because we get to tie a knot. So it just secures it 
perfectly fine. Pull that tight though. Like all your other knots, I say don't pull tight because you're gonna misshape in something, but you're not you're not gonna misshape in the tear. It's it's 3D, it's it's rocking, it's out there. There. So the tears are on. Now it's not looking so creepy. So we're going to put our eyebrows on. Hi. I have a, an eyebrow that's MIA, so I had to I had to whip up another one. I have no idea where my eyebrow curled off to, but I can't find it anywhere. So, let's take a look at our emoji. I kind of, those eyebrows are a little high, I think, in this emoji. They're a little high, I think. Let's refer to the picture. refer to the picture yeah they're kind of slanted down over here so I'm just going to try to keep it at the top of that eyebrow kind of slanty so we'll just use that to tack everything down we'll use this one to sew So don't pull tight when you're doing your knot because you don't want the eyebrow to be out of shape. Do your double knot. Snip it off. Just making sure it's kind of in the same. Space. I mean, if it's not, it's not. It's a cartoon, so. If you get it kind of off kilter, I don't think it's that big of a deal. My grandkids certainly aren't even gonna notice. And I'm trying not to pull tight because I don't want to misshape and I didn't pull tight on that eyebrow and it looks out of shape a little bit already and I didn't even pull tight so it's hard to um it's hard to not get them misshapen.
There we go. That's the best I can do on my face. So your tears will move around because um, my tears on here don't really move around since it's stuffed. I mean, I can move them, but they really don't move. Um, once it's stuffed, it won't. It shouldn't move. So, now that we've got everything on and we have everything tied and everything kind of snipped down, then we can go... I'm going to put my seam and my seam together. So... We can start sewing. Let me get my yellow. Or not. Where is the end of my yellow? There it is. Okay, so we're going to crochet this together. And this is why it was so important to make sure you had equal number of stitches. So first, to make it easy on you, you can make a slip knot. Take it off. Find the two stitches that you're going to be working with. Put your hook back on. Pull that all the way through and secure it. And then in the same stitch, you're going to put a single crochet just for extra security. So now what you're going to do is you're going to single crochet in every stitch around. Leave an opening for stuffing, but you're going to go stitch for stitch. And that's why it was so important to make sure that you had an equal number of stitches because you're just going to go stitch for stitch all the way around under both so you should have four pieces of yarn on your hook when you go in because you're going under those two and you're going under those two and you're going to go stitch for stitch all the way around. If you don't go stitch for stitch for stitch all the way around, you're going to end up with bunches and it's going to be quite noticeable. So I'm going to speed this up so you can pause it if you want and then make meet me back here and we'll stuff it so keep doing this until you have it about three quarters of the way done you still want to be able to get your stuffing in there and then you can unpause the vid video and I can st we can stuff it together or I mean you just stuff it there's no no trick. So just make sure your stitch just stitch and I'm going to speed it up now.
All right, I'm to the point where I can start sticking some stuffing in there. So when this is just polyfill that I get at Walmart for $5 for a 16 ounce bag, um, just kind of pull it apart. Before you stuff it, I'm just going to pull this out here. And you just obviously shove it in there. So I don't really put a whole lot of stuffing in my guys just because I don't want their face to be all distorted. So, once I get a little bit in there, then I like to just close it up a little bit more. And then I put more in and then I close it up a little bit more. So that's all I'm gonna do right now is just close it up a little bit more. So, I mean, you're going to move this around after it's full. Anyway, I could probably put a little bit more in there. It just gives me an idea when I do it that way of how much I can actually fit down the sides without too much. I just can do this. Stuff it around. Like I said, I'm going to... I'm gonna um I'm gonna do squishy face after anyway and I'm gonna move it move it around but I don't like them too too full you can stuff it as much as you want to stuff it just make sure when you come back together that you're still going stitch for stitch because you don't want that bunching. You don't want it to be out of shape type type deal. But I do it this way instead of sewing because I like the look it gives all around. Um, you can by all means sew this shut if that's what you want to do. You don't have to do what I'm doing. You can just whip stitch this or something. And, uh, sorry, my yarn was stuck. You can just whip stitch this or something, but I actually like the look that this gives around. So, a lot of my work I will just single crochet shut. It's faster, way faster. I mean, doing it on camera is not fast. Because <laughs> I gotta try to, you know, lean over camera but we're almost closed and then we'll do squishy face and we'll move oops we'll move um, we'll move all the stuffing around and get it situated where we want it and stuff like that so and then we will be all done. So when you get to the end, um, you're just gonna slip stitch this right into this first, first chain that you did here. Just like anything else. Or you can take your needle and you can do a hidden, hidden um, stitch if you want, if you know how to do that. But 
Um, it's not really necessary. I think I got some stuffing in that needle pull, in that hook pull. It's not really necessary. Um, if you just go into that first stitch and you do a slip stitch, it you can't tell really. I mean, you've got this seam anyway, but so we're done. So I'll just fasten off. Push your knot down. You, you can't even. You can't really tell once we hide it. You're not gonna really tell. I mean, all the action's here. So you're not really gonna tell. But um, we're just gonna hide this up into um, what we just did. So I'm just gonna go all along these stitches, kind of in and out, weaving. So when uh, you can do it at the back, like we can. Doing that at the back makes more sense, Tara. So we're just going to weave in and out of our stitches like that. So when you pull on this, this knot kind of comes down. So from the front, all you're going to see is that little piece, which is no big deal because like I said, all the action's going on here. People are going to look at this and go, oh my god, you had an emoji. So, I mean, that's generally what the reaction I get. So I'm just going to hidey ho this. I mean, you don't need to really go that far. I don't think it'll come undone, but cut as close as you can so we can't really see that. And then we're just going to squish him around to move the stuffing around. That's what I mean by squishy face. So once we get his stuffing all moved around, you are done. You are done, your laughy face. <laughs> There's something seriously wrong with this eyebrow. Hopefully your eyebrows came out better than my eyebrows. But there's your stuffy face. Stuffy face. There's your laughy face emoji. Not a stuffy face emoji. A laughy face emoji. There you have it, guys. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.